Creating a patient record. Be sure your cap locks are on and click on patients. Be sure the box is checked next to the patient's last name and start entering the patient's last name. Then click on search. If the patient's name does not show up on the list below, left click on create. Tab or mouse down to the first name, date of birth, and gender. and enter twice when completed. To acquire an image, left click on the EOS digital icon once. Take as many pictures as you like of that patient and then hit escape to automatically save these images. After hitting escape, your images are automatically saved as thumbnails. To review the images, click on the center of the image. To review the next image, use the arrows in the upper left hand corner. When done, press the red arrow to return to the thumbnails. If you wish to view two images side by side, hold the control button down on your keyboard and highlight both images. Right click on either frame and left click on stereo editing. You can then use the wheel on your mouse to scroll the images up and then left click and hold to adjust them. If you wish to save these images as a stereo pair, you'll need to hold the shift key down to adjust the images so they are in the same height and then press the WYSIWYG button at the top of the screen and this creates an image just like you see on this screen. Red arrow back to view it and open it. To annotate an image, open an image, left click on the ABC button on the left side Click in the area that you wish to label. Start typing the label. And click off on the retina. If you wish to remove that label, right click, left click delete. To add a label with a tail, press on the ABC with the tail. Click on the image. Start typing. Then click on the label and drag the tail to point to the pathology. To measure the disc cup ratio, zoom the image up, left click on the CD tool, left click in the center of the image, Drag the boxes, the outside box, to be coincident with the outside of the disc. And then drag the inside boxes to be coincident with the rim of the cup. If you need to move the circles, there is a diamond and an X. To move the cup circle, move the diamond. And to move the disc circle, move the X. To measure a structure using the protractor tool, click on the protractor tool on the left and click adjacent to the structure you wish to measure. Pull the green boxes so the arc inside of the protractor is coincident with the edge of the pathology or structure. Using the imaging enhancement tools to the left, the next three icons allow you to change orientation of the image. The contrast, 
brightness and sharpness tool allows you to reduce the brightness in the optic nerve by dropping brightness one half line to the left. If you wish to sharpen the image, slide the sharpen tool about 80% to the right. If you wish to see a red free image, press on the red, green, and blue icon and slide the red line all the way to the left, removing the red and giving a red free image. If you wish to see a negative image, press the invert tool and then press it again to make it regular picture. The emboss tool is used to make one picture into a 3D image. This is very useful in patient education. If you wish to make a black and white image, press the emboss tool, use the pull down window to go to black and white, and slide the color out of the image. If you wish to break the image into its three-way RGB components, press the RGB separation button. This is very useful in determining which pathology resides in which layer of the retina. If you wish to create a report pertaining to a particular picture, click on the notepad at 6 o'clock. You'll note that you can indicate if this is a left eye or a right eye by clicking only one side only and marking it right or left. You can very easily complete this form by checking and by typing comments. In the future, we will have advanced EMR templates. As you see, we will have a complete set of templates to handle most of your simple EMR needs.